did the Mikado with Brian for three or four years. And then Stratford did it again a few years after that. And, and Juan Kuern, a brilliant actor, uh, was asked to do the role. But they kept most of the other characters who had done the original production. Like Eric was in it, and Christine was in it, and Marie was in it. And the people who started it. And, I, and this may sound like a tangent, but I'm trying to think about how something joyous can become not joyous. And how personally we feel we connect to certain characters. And somehow we get to the point where we become possessive about those characters. And we shouldn't because they were meant to be for the universe, not for one individual. And uh, I remember when the casting was announced, I'm going, well, why wasn't I asked to do the role? Part of the reason for these interviews is for those who watch, the students to say, well, what do I do when the creative world that I choose to put my life into then gives me a blow across the head that I hadn't seen coming? Mm -hmm. How did Rick McMillan deal with that? How do I, do I leave the profession? What do I do? Well, that's one course of action, but it's exactly what you did when you dealt with Hirsch. I fell apart. I fell apart. So when you fall apart... Well, you got to come together again somehow. How do you, do you somehow come together? You just keep working. You have to take your time to pick up as many pieces as you can because no matter how hard you try in this, in this life in theater, and I'm, I'm, I'm talking to the students that may be interested in this, there are things that are going to hurt you. There are things that are going to surprise you with their effectiveness to hurt. And whatever it takes for you to find within yourself to come back together after that is whatever it takes for you to do. Whether it's manufacturing confidence, whether it's just getting back on the horse again, going out and finding another job and do better than you could before to say, you know, I am equal because they made you feel less than equal. They felt like saying, you don't we don't value you. And that happens a lot in this business. It happens mm -hmm. a lot in this country. Yes, it does happen a lot in the business. It's one of the reasons it's good to talk about it. Yeah. It happens in editions. It happens in oh, yeah. film editions, television editions, theater editions. It happens in rehearsal hall. What do you do when they whack? Yeah, and that's, you're going to have to find whatever resource is available to you, whether it's self-pity for a while, whether it's anguish, whether it's, you know, I'll go out and do better, whatever. You know, there's, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's, it's whatever suits the individual. But yeah, I felt, well, I think about every three weeks I want to quit the business. You know? <laughs> I think most actors feel that. Um, Maybe I'm wrong about that.